Hi, I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. My channel is dedicated to helping victims of narcissistic abuse get free and stay free. Now, today we've got a special interview with my friend Chanel Clark. You guys know Chanel on her channel, Kill Jezebel. Hi, Chanel. How are you doing? Hi, Kim. Thank you for having me. You are so amazing. Well, isn't this fabulous? I'm sitting yeah. in Arizona. You're in New York City, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love the power of technology and bringing people together yes now yeah. guys i've got chanel on today uh because she's got some great news for everybody first and foremost chanel you just published a book it's available on amazon can you tell us a bit about the book and what motivated you to write it yes it's called the spiritual whistleblowers breakup manual guide Vol volume one uh, how to Defeat a Narcissist. Um, it's a superhero that I created. She's a sexy woman. You know, I, I did it because, you know, women, I wanted it to be relatable to women from the ages of 17 to 55 or whatever. So all women from all walks of life, if you've dealt with a narcissist, this is the book for you. She's, she's, she's wearing her pair of Louboutins. You know, she's looking good. She's got her uh, cross around her, her pendant, you know, because she's a follower of Jesus Christ. And she's not having it. She's got her whistle in her hand. And every time she sees a demonic narcissist, she's going to blow that whistle and expose his ass. So I created this superhero. It inspired me because I, I've been fighting to heal so bad. I've been doing everything. I went to the doctors. I got on antidepressants. I was fighting, exercising every day. And I said, what else can I do to push me towards my healing? And writing is therapeutic. I have a very long history of you know, being a journalist. Never wrote a book in my life, but I did you know, work with different magazines and stuff. And I said, write a book. It doesn't have to be a big book. Write a little something. And um, I did. I wrote about, you know, I touched a little bit on my family history. Both of my parents are narcissists. I come from an extremely abusive background. My mother, it was hell sexual molestation you name it bloody nose she's pulled a knife on me she, everything to break me as a child so i but it i didn't get upset writing this it was awesome you know i even a book i said i forgive you wish you the best but you won't get anything else out of me i'm moving on i'm in a great space now i'm in a position to help others so the book is just breaking down you know the basics because there's a lot of people that have no idea what narcissistic abuse is i'm just meeting so many people like oh my god this sounds like my ex oh my god there's a name for this i keep meeting new people so the book is basically a surface level uh book about narcissist being involved with a narcissistic man and romantically in a relationship so that's all it is and i did two books actually the, the other book is a, is a book of affirmations but with a twist of humor because i talk about some things like i have a quote in there that says community dick is contaminated dick part of my my language but it is like who wants whoa. contaminated community whoa, dick whoa get that thing away from me yeah that's it girl you don't want that stuff who wants let yeah. let the next woman have it whoa. so just daily affirmations to inspire you and to make you laugh, you know, because a lot of the struggle is um, healing and acceptance. So I find that laughter is a great way to fight the depression and to force yourself towards healing. Now, I, I've said this before in videos. Mm -hmm. I definitely recognize the pain, the suffering, the humiliation, the cognitive dissonance, the confusion. I mean, when yeah. you look at all of that it is a call to action just as you said i did it myself i mean there was many days i could have thought oh god i'm not going to clean the cat litter box say i could do the dishes right. tomorrow. but with absolute determination i mean a vengeance yeah. i kept going i felt like sitting around all day in my pajamas yeah. Not only did I take a shower, I put on makeup, I did my damn hair to not leave the house, but I did it. I made sure not only, I mean, the dishes were washed, I was pulling out the fridge and stove. And I, I mean, I just kept pushing myself and pushing. You got to fight, 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 fight. You fight. fight. And that's what it was because I actually, though, initially I had no idea what was happening. I felt like I was in an absolute fight for my life. I really. You are. 
And um, this, I think, is what uh, sadly happens to a lot of people, is if you lose that fight, you can slip into a state of depression, and yeah. that will just start snowballing on you. I'm so glad you brought that up, because... It'll kill your soul. It it, will kill, it'll kill your soul. And I, I do believe you and I have always been very much the same that way, where we are willing to fight this out. It, yeah. Even when I didn't know what I was fighting, I, I was going to fight it because yeah. I, I felt that threatened. Like I felt that threatened by my own emotional state that, yeah. oh, bless your heart. Now, uh, you, we talked uh, or mentioned it just briefly at the beginning of the video that uh, Kill Jezebel is your channel. You want to talk to us a bit about your channel, Kill Jezebel, and what motivates you to to continue with that because what a hell of a job you've done. Um, I feel really honored to have initially introduced you at my channel when your channel. No was way. No way. I feel honored that you even, I'm just a little Joe Schmo here. I was honored that you like said my name in your video. I said, holy shit, Kim Wilson mentioned me in my, I was honored. So I, yeah, I, this was my little video. I was doing a daily journal every day to help myself. I would record myself and then play it back just to give myself some type of pep. And then people started listening in to me saying, hey, you make sense. I like your video. So I kept doing more. And this, this is what happened. And it's just crazy. You know something, Kim? All my life, people have watered me down. I've always been, you know, the, the scapegoat. People have laughed, picked at me. You sound stupid. You sound crazy. I was bullied all the time. And for once in my life, I feel as if no one is doing that. I got rid of all the toxic people, and people love this personality. Now I'm sharing this personality through my channel and my book, and people are loving it. The very qualities that these toxic people try to try to downplay and, and, and make fun of are the very same things that are going to elevate us and promote us. That's why they go so hard to stop us. Let's so I sit here, I sit here today, nobody is ever going to water me down, ever, ever again. I, if I cannot be me, you get the hell away because I'm going to be me. And whoever gravitates to this radiance, God bless them. I'm going I'm to be bless me. Bless your heart, sister. Yes. You bring up another really important point. <laughs> When you are beaten down, you are a, an absolute magnet to these things. But as soon as you find your power, find your strength, let your light shine, it's like that light just repels them and they'll go look for another victim and leave you the hell alone. And yeah. I think as long as people remain sick and injured and broken and incapacitated from it, they will forever be targets to them. Well, yeah. What a shining example of strength and courage you have stepped up to be. Kim, I'm so tired of getting my ass kicked. I mean, like, we've been beaten and battered since our childhood. When is enough enough? I'm, I'm at this point, anyone comes for me, I'm going to pick up a bat and whoop their ass. I am not taking abuse off of nobody no more. I'm tired. I, mean, I, I want to have a happy fucking life. Get away from me, Satan. I rebuke you. Leave me alone. Yes, I hear you, okay. sister. I really do. You reach a point of utter satura uh, saturation where you got nothing to lose, right? There's nothing. nothing. Kick their asses. I will kick ass. Get away from me. Me too. Get away. Get now, away. Within our community, there is a bit of a, a conflicting, you know, narrative that goes on. On one hand, you know, get out there, rally against them, fight against them, expose them. And then there's that other narrative that says, oh, you're just giving them supply. You're just, you know, feeding them. But you know what? Um, if you don't expose them, they're going to have free reigns to go get as much supply as they want, you know? Right. So, Either way, I mean, they're fiends, and if we don't expose them, I think we've done a horrendous uh, injustice. So No, you have to expose that. You have to. You have to. I agree. Let them have their little bit of supply for the nick. If, it, if it's going to me, if it means helping hundreds of thousands of people, let them feel like they're taking supply for a minute or two. That's fine. Because when I get done exposing you, millions of people are going to know what a piece of shit you are. Yeah, get now, your little supply now while you can. Yes, yes. Now let me uh, 
ask you this. Now, I remember being so confused. I mean, just, I, I mean, I really didn't recognize the abuse as anything I'd ever seen as far as domestic abuse goes. I felt crazy. Mm -hmm. I thought I was imagining things. Um, do you remember that mm -hmm. breakthrough moment when you went, oh my God, there's a name for this. Oh my God, this is happening to other people. I mean, that, that moment of clarity when you went, Oh my God, I, I'm not alone. I am a part of something huge. Do you remember that breakthrough moment for you? I did. Um, the moment I had enough of my mother. Um, I, my only issue was attracting the toxic men because I feel like romantic love and maternal love are two different types. Yeah. You know, um, romantic love is a bit different because you become entangled you know, you're having sex with this person and it's a bit more intense and it's harder to break, you know, and when they're complimenting you on your beauty and love bombing the fuck out of you, it's different from what you're dealing with with your, your parents. So that aha moment came when I found out that my father was just as narcissistic as my mother. He was so covert and he used the Bible. That's why I was so full over the years. I knew what my mother was. Well, she is flat out malignant. She'll tell you in your face she doesn't like you. She doesn't hold back any anything. I respect her for that. I don't like her, but I respect her for being an asshole and let me know, hey, I'm an asshole and I don't like you. Yes, I'm jealous of your beauty. I don't care if you're, you're my daughter. I don't like you. I respect that about her, but I don't respect my father. Um, he would use the Bible, the spiritual abuse. He would be condescending. If you don't do this, you know, then he'll throw Bible scripture to justify you know, the, the control tactics. And I said, oh my God, my father has been abusing me all these years. It wasn't physical. Um, it was covert emotional abuse through the Bible. And I said, both of my parents, I said, if you don't get away from both of them now as an adult. So no contact with my mother total. It's been 15 years and I'm not going back. My father, it's been five. So now I'm at the brink of not taking back any more toxic men. My struggle has been with my romantic relationships with family. I got rid of a long time ago. Good for you. So that, that your parents are the culprits. They're the ones that train you to uh, accept the abuse. And that's where you got to nip it with your parents. I agree. Yeah. yeah. My mother has as much as admitted that, you know, she's tried to love me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry, that was such an effort for you, Mom, right? <laughs> yeah, she doesn't love herself, so she can't love anyone else. No, horrendous. Now, as <laughs> you know, um, I've planned a meetup uh, here in Puerto Vallarta. This yeah. Week, and yeah. Uh, we've been getting a great response. I'm so excited. Uh, one of the things Congrats. that I really feel is a problem within our community is the self-imposed isolation the withdrawal from human contact, from yeah. looking people in the eye, putting people's hands in yours, getting our arms around, you know, our friends, our fellow survivors. So uh, this is not in any way a convention. I mean, I'm literally talking a bunch of survivors of narcissistic abuse, getting together, hanging out at the beach, playing beach volleyball, drinking too many margaritas, and going out dancing, right? Like, that sounds like a, a dream vacation to me. I, it, it sounds great to me. I love to get drunk and lay on the beach in Mexico. I think it's well, great. <laughs> I just thought, you know, it, it eliminated, you know, a lot of that sort of sterility around a convention. Yeah one person talking and you know where everybody can get hands on get get dirty in the process and you know just have a real human experience now you're doing something it's coming up in new york city it's extremely exciting and there are people sadly who cannot attend the meetup here but you've created an opportunity for survivors to get together uh, in the very near future can you tell us a bit about that Yes, thank you. Congratulations, too. I think it's awesome. And the, the whole concept of bringing people together and having a good time it is helping with healing. You know, we don't want to sit in a seminar and just listen to people. We know what this shit is. We can watch videos all day. Let's have a good time. I'm tired of crying. I'm tired of being depressed over the narcissist. This meetup you're doing is brilliant. I love it. Thank now, you. New York is not sunny like you, and our beaches are gross, so I can't 
compete with that. But next Tuesday on August 7th, I'm doing an after work social mixer. It is free of charge. All you have to do is RSVP. Um, I have an email. RSVP, I have a comedian that will be there to perform narcissistic jokes, some stand-up comedy, free cocktails, free food. All you have to do is show up, come give me a hug, take some pictures. If you can't stay the whole time, that's fine. Come for an hour or two. It's just three hours, seven to 10. But um, it's all to support um, narcissistic survivors in, you know, in the New York City metro area. It's in Tribeca. And uh, once you register, you will learn the location. Just show up. It is free of charge. Fantastic. So where, where are we sending people to sign up? Um, are they to email you, Chanel? Or do you have a link I can add below this video? My email, yes, they can RSVP at God, G-O-D dot goals, G-O-A-L-S dot glam, G-L-A-M at gmail.com. RSVP, and I will send you the location 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Free cocktails. You cannot turn down free cocktails, guys. Come on. Come get and, your drinks. And glam you are, sister. <laughs> <laughs> You're glamorous, too. <laughs> you know, I, I, need to, I need to ask you, you know, who's paying for all of this? I'm paying for it. My goodness. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. What a major contribution to the community. And I know we have many, many friends within our community in New York City. So guys, if you are in the New York City area, make sure you get in touch with Chanel and reserve your spot at that event. Cocktails, hugs, lots of warm, friendly interaction and a comedian and all free. That's right. That's, That's fantastic. Right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's laugh, man. The nar we give so much power to the narcissist, man. I'm tired of crying and, and being upset. I want to party and have a good time and meet some others. Yes. Honestly, I, I recently had a couple of experiences that absolutely caused me to buckle over laughing I noticed the next morning my face hurt and so did my stomach and I thought wow it's been so long since I absolutely belly laughed that that's, you know I've got symptoms of it now so that's when I thought good no. good laughter is the greatest medicine it really I'll take it I'll take it over antidepressants and anything else it's the greatest medicine that's why I got the comedian. We need to laugh, guys. The narcissist is a fucking joke. He's a joke. He's a joke. Yes. And the more you expose them, the more you come to understand them, the more you see their, you know, patterns and how they're stuck in this, you know, looping that they can never break free of. I mean, they do, uh, you know, start to look like absolute fiends fiends and you, laugh, you start laughing because they're so predictable you start to laugh at their tactics it's like dude seriously this is what we're doing wouldn't it's that pathetic be wouldn't that be fabulous if we could evolve to the point that they are just simply reduced to humor yeah yeah well i think they're funny i'm laughing at them now they're they're they're, they're i laugh at them they can't laugh at me anymore i'm laughing at them now they're the joke Yes, well, I'll tell you, you've set a hell of an example, and this is an amazing thing that you've done. Um, guys, uh, I'm going to leave a link. You've got a link for me that you'll email me? Yes. Or you could even, uh, Chanel, I'm going to post this uh, video right away. If you could maybe do us a favor, because I think people in the New York area could have questions. Um, okay. If you could pop in uh, under this video for like the next hour or two if you've got the time or check in on where people can leave questions directly to you. Um, okay. That'd be great and make it a bit interactive. I know many sure. of you know Chanel and you know the channel Kill Jezebel, but yeah, if you could just hang out for a little bit at the channel where yeah, people, sure. where do I park? How do I get there? Can I carpool with somebody? I mean, just yes. whatever question they've got that you can answer for them. Sure, absolutely. Thank you. I you I'm so honored. I'm this is an honor to me. Congrats. You got 20,000 subscribers. I I look up to you, dude. I got a ways to go, but you know, you're a fighter like me. We got to kick their asses. And you know what? I have this strong feeling you're going to go mainstream. You're going to be this celebrity life coach. I feel it in my spirit. So you keep going, man. Keep going. 
Well, You're doing one great. Of the things I've really uh, had to do some soul searching about was the direction of the channel. I really feel like I've rehashed the problem so many times. You know, um, and you know, as I do, that as you're reading over the emails, I'm not saying don't send the emails, guys, keep the emails coming, but there is such sadness in the story yeah. that we'll share with yeah. you. You know, if there was a way to just flip this around and make it all about progress and healing and yes. not yes. have to look yes. back on it, but unfortunately, every day new people wake up to it. Every day somebody yeah. finds herself in that moment we were in where we went, oh my God, there's a name for this. This yeah. is a real thing. Yeah. This, this is real, you know? And so every day it's, yeah, I, I do hope that in time there'll be a point where we're all kind of in the same place, you know, the same state of awareness and we can move more fluidly. But you know what it's like, new new friends show up every day and we have to help them, you know. Yeah, that's what keeps you going because it's like it is hard to hear the stories day in and day out. It kind of drains you sometimes. It but. Does. You're inspired to just keep helping because well, when people start to realize and you, you're, you're connecting them to the answers, then it's like reviving yourself, like you're, you're freeing people. So it's all worth it. And it's, it's this constant moment of reflection where you're like, how the hell are they getting away with this? I mean, yeah. How, yeah. how can yeah. they be getting away with doing this to good people. It's crazy. It's crazy. Taking their money, causing them. I, I, oh, my God. Like, it just, yeah, it's enough to drive you batty. It's demonic. It oh. is demonic, Kim. It is I demonic. I truly do believe that. I truly do believe that. It's demonic. But, you know, once you are in a place like you're at and starting to, you know, reach a place where I'm at, where they just can't hurt me anymore. Bring on your smear campaigns. Bring on your bullshit. I'm ready for you. Bring no. the hoovers. Bring the hoovers because yeah. I'm ready for the hoovers too. Yeah. Don't, don't <laughs> care anymore, right? You know, I, I've already been called every name in the book. I've been harassed relentlessly. My accounts yeah. have been hacked. Like, what else you got? You got something? Yeah. You do reach a point where you just don't care anymore, you know, but uh, I think, I, I hope this video will show people um, how getting an attitude of fight no matter what, right? I'm going to fight on, I'm going to restore myself, I'm going to do what I got to do. I hope this video today encourages some of you to get up, get that cat box clean, get your dishes washed, get, yes. a, get a face full of makeup on even if you're not leaving the house make yourself feel good about this day yes i threw all my furniture out and painted my house sober i wanted that energy out of my house so you yes. can if i can do it anyone else can do it you did it too kim so oh, get up it. and get active yes oh no i i did it i had to do it yes absolutely well yes. you're, you're a beautiful friend and i've always been so honored to know you and I'm thank so you thank you you're beautiful too <laughs> book and the success of your channel and guys if you are in the new york area or plan on being in the new york area and the date is august 7th which is uh tuesday so next tuesday so yes. that gives you guys time to plan uh even if you're within a short drive away it'd certainly be worth the trip um if under the comments uh you are a short drive away maybe there's a way we can hook people up and they can carpool together and yes. uh, get them to the event guys uh i'm kim you're watching kim wilson tv this is chanel clark bye Isabel. thank you kim <laughs> we're gonna be uh seeing you guys soon uh i have a new video coming up with rinda smith and a uh, new video again coming up with hillary jacobs Handle so I go hope you guys will watch for those. Thank you so much, Chanel. Thank you, Kim.